So we just had a really interesting experience um, driving. We're in the Allegheny uh, National Forest right now in uh, Pennsylvania. And on the way here, it took us through a, this back road, which was a gravel one-way road for about five miles. And luckily we didn't meet any cars there, but uh, we just pulled into the, uh, the campground here. And uh, a fortunate event, I stopped the, the truck and just happened to get out. And here you'll be able to, to, to see how close to the gully that I was. So anyway, I guess, I guess today I should count my blessings. We sold our house and all of our possessions to travel and be together. In 2007, Colleen's symptoms started to appear. And in 2014, the official diagnosis was for spinal cerebellar ataxia. Despite our circumstances, we want to share through our experience that it is possible to live a joyous life. Hello everybody, Patrick and Colleen with livingonlifesterms.com. Here we are in the Allegheny National Forest in uh, Pennsylvania, and we are at uh, the Kinzawa uh, State Park. Uh, I hope I said that right. We actually found this as a last minute thing to do. And I think if Colleen would have found out about it after the fact, she would have killed me because there's this uh, amazing bridge uh, that used to be a railroad track that uh, went over a, uh, the valley and uh, right behind us is a walkway, which used to be a, uh, a railroad viaduct uh, that used to transport, uh, transport uh, timber, coal, and oil across the valley. Um, it was built in 1882, at the time was the largest uh, viaduct in the world. It uh, stood over 300 feet above the ground and spanned over 2,000 feet. Um, it was active until 1959 and then this uh, was turned into a, a state park in the 70s um, and in 2003 an f1 tornado came through and tore down um, a, a number of the uh, the towers so when colleen and i were in the allegheny national forest um, you know we we pulled into our, our uh, site that was assigned to us and it you know, was probably for, I don't know, uh, an hour and a half, I was trying to get us into the site properly uh, so we could level um, the uh, the rig. And it was, uh, and I, I couldn't do it. As a matter of fact, after, after a while, it was starting to get dark. And I thought, you know what? We're gonna be done with this. We'll check out of here tomorrow. So, you know, that night we're severely off level and um, it, it was wearing on me. And by this time I'm way off center by the time I got up the next morning. And uh, it's funny on, uh, you know, how God sends angels to you. So I'm getting this thing set up in the new site and the new site was all good and fine. And this uh, young boy uh, named Billy comes walking up and he says, that sure is a nice truck. And, and he was going on from one thing to the next and asking questions about, you know, our rig and asking questions about the truck. And, you know, before you knew it, it was like gone, you know, I was getting stuck in my own head. And, um, you know, this little angel Billy came up and he certainly helped me with it. And the, the whole time we were there for the next week, you know, I was, um, you know, I was thinking about Billy and, and it was just like such a joy. Um, and those are the little things that uh, I really need, um, you know, I really need help with, uh, you know, as we go out on this journey, because it's very easy for me to, to, to get stuck inside my head. We're enjoying each day to the fullest, living with joy through acceptance. Our wish is that our experience may offer hope to those that may be facing a challenging situation in their life. We welcome you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and take this journey with us. We would love to connect with you Check us out at livingonlifesterms.com.